Hello and welcome to Airsoft Rules tutorial on how to get and install not Franken HUD it for it skins specifically the Halloween skins so first thing you're going to do is go to tf2.com actually I will actually put the uh, link to the mini site thing in the description because it's kind of con confusing to trying to find it. Uh, it takes me a little while to find it even. So, otherwise, first you're going to want to find it if I could actually find it. Uh, man, yeah, this is why I'm going to put it in the description. Da, 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 da. Where is it? Nope. Nope. Wait, did I miss it? No. Okay, I didn't. Yeah, let's see if I can find it. Oh, come on. Wait. Uh. 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 Wait. Okay, hold on one second. Alrighty, we're back now. I have actually finally found it. Here we go. Night of the Living update. So we want to click on it. I want to go to that. There we go. So you come to this web page, and first thing you want to do is find. Well, there's uh, five different nights. Choose whatever one. I'll choose this one. Now I can choose this one, this one, this one, or this one. Those are the different skin areas. Actually, I should probably explain to you what exactly this is. This is basically what Valve did because they didn't want to implement like a ton of new weapons. But there was a lot of people with a new Steam Workshop. They did like want to still have those weapons available in an indirect way. So they made them as skins, basically. So <coughs> sorry. So this is what they did. So as you can see, different things, right? Uh, let's see. Okay, here's the pyro one that I use. So what you do is you click on it, download, and you can click replace with what? Now, I've done this already, and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so now I have a file of, uh, not quite sure how many, 27 skins that I want to implement. Uh, which one? Uh, I know... One of these is actually not available anymore. I could find it. You also, uh, some of them are, okay, behind it it'll say usually what it is. Uh, Switchblade, what? That's Ubersaw, Bushwhacker, Dead Ringer. Okay, let's just do Dead Ringer. So, what you do is you open with whatever you want, so WinZip, let's just say. Open A. Okay, there we go. Materials and models. Uh, read me. Don't need to read it, honestly. Now, what you want to do is go to program files times 86. So, for your 32-bit, because it is running 32-bit, because Steam, yeah, Steam runs 32-bit, not 64. Anyways, go to uh, Steam, Steam Apps, Airsoft rule, or or your not Airsoft rules. Your username, your username, not Airsoft rules. That's my username. We want to go to your username, your username. So go to Team Fortress Two, TF, and you'll see there's materials and models. So what you want to do is you want to, oh, that's not what I want to do. Drag, drag, and see if I can drop it in. Did it go in the right place? Whoa. <laughs> uh, yes, I do want to do that. Uh, yes. Okay, just ignore that. Okay, there we go. Now it is installed, and you can do it for all the other ones. And there you go. That about sums up my tutorial on how to do this. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see. Uh, TF2 gameplays, but I will be seeing if I can 
think of any other gameplays to come up with later. Anyways, uh, rate the video if you think it was a good, good idea and you liked it. It helped you out a lot. And comment if you have any questions. Otherwise, have a fantastic day and don't drink and drive. It's not safe. See you guys later.